Lisa Stalaker, thank you very much for joining us. What does it take to win an Ashes series in England? It's all about consistency, really. Um, I guess an opportunity to play, uh, firstly, the three different formats. Uh, it's different uh, compared to when I first started playing the Ashes and um, being able to perform well over the ODIs, the Test and the three T20s. Well, the Australian girls have been performing well. Uh, you know, there's been a core group of them that have, have gone through the last probably two, three years and had a lot of success at World Cups, but they need to turn that into Ashes success. Uh, Meg Lanning, obviously the captain, she's going to be a key. Elise Perry, Elisa Healy, Alex Blackwell, um, and obviously there's a number of spinners there. So just Jonathan, Erin Osborne, and Kristen Beams will be on her first Ashes uh, tour. And as a leggy, hopefully uh, she uh, gets a lot of wickets. Now on the opposition, which English players are key in the one-day format? We can't go past Charlotte Edwards. Uh, she's the most capped player. She's played a lot of test cricket as well. Uh, really experienced. She leads the side extremely well. So uh, she'll be one player that the Australian girls need to work hard in, in reducing her impact. Sarah Taylor is another one. Uh, she's dynamic uh, behind the stumps but also with the bat. Um, and then they've got some young young players. Uh, Kate Cross has been doing extremely well. Anya Shrubshol. Um, Catherine Brunt's coming back in as well. So um, they've got a good mix of uh, youth and experience. So it's it's going to be a tough ask. The English and the Australian cricket sides are largely regarded as the best two teams in the women's format. Can you tell us a little bit about what it means to play in an Ashes rivalry? I think the fact that there's been so much tradition and history in the men's game that uh, we were brought up watching it. You know, I remember listening to the radio or watching TV of Ashes contests and um, to actually be part of our own Ashes contest, to wear the baggy green, something that we don't often get. It's a really special time for the Australian team and for the English team as well. Uh, so um, it's, it's an exciting tour. Uh, the fact that it's, it's going to be quite a long tour as well. I know that the Southern Stars are heading over to Ireland as well to play a few matches so that will be exciting. Um, but it, it's a, a special time to be part of, of the team and, and the memories that you make over on an Ashes tour, whether they be positive or negative, um, they stay with you for a long time. Across all formats of the game, who are you predicting to be player of the series? Oh, tough one. Um, from an Australian perspective, I think probably Meg Lanning or Elise Perry. I think, you know, given their track record over the last few years have been dominating, then I think they'll do that again. Um, from an English point of view, if they were to win the series, I think Charlotte Edwards would be a key. Um, so, so, same with Sarah Taylor, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of their young all-rounders as well. I think they'll have a, an impact, you know, they don't have the history that has been involved with the clashes between Australia and, and this young form of cricketer seems to be performing well, it doesn't matter which country they come from. And finally, your Ashes prediction? I think Australia will win. Points-wise, um, it's going to be close. I think maybe two points in it. Thanks for joining us. No worries.